Welcome, everyone, to Tucson, Arizona, Arizona Stadium, where this red and blue crowd ready to bear down with their Wildcats. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime, as we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the New Mexico Lobos, taking on the 16th-ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Here's the return from inside is 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Arizona Wildcats offense will get the first swing of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. First down here for the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They'll line up for a second down play. From the gun, running back on the move. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Powell. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. So New Mexico's offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key to their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Now facing a third and long to throw at Stampier. Safe completion on the screen. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Lobos will line up to punt it away. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, first tackling round, the round, catch. You gave up the completion. Game. What do you do? Defense. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And the pass is incomplete. Jar loose by the hit. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. The Lobos will punt it away on fourth down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Right to crease at the 20. 
He finally goes out of bounds after the explosive play, but now the question is, did the official see something to bring it back? So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. On first down, here comes this offense. Looking for a crease, it's Conley. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackle is made after the first down. And the Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. To the ground, he's got it again. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. And the Wildcats have their offense in high gear. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. The give to the back. The Wildcats are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Give to the running back. Gets it past the marker. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Arizona right back to the line. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Touch pass on the run. And he's brought down after a nice game. Arizona lines up with a first and goal. He just couldn't hold his water long enough in the line of scrimmage. It'll be a penalty. Full start. Full start. Full start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. To the air, it's Fafita. It's complete to the left. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he'll be smacked to the ground. Opening day, they might as well build a little drama with a third and goal early. The aerial assault continues. And it makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona! And these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Texas A&M found a way to pick up the W, and a win is a win, but this was not the type of convincing victory they've gotten used to in College Station. Really unexpected outcome in this ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup. The type of loss, guys, that'll get the attention of even a good football team. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Oh, 
That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Things working pretty well for this defense out of the dime package and still getting plenty of heat on the quarterback. Get off the rock, understand the situation. All the fast guys got the back end covered. It's my job to seek and destroy the quarterback. Great job by the defensive line rushing after that guy and getting them on the ground. And the Lobos will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And just a spectacular punt. It'll go out of bounds inside the five-yard line and really put this offense in a hole. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Trying to pick up a first down. On third down, going up top. Got his man quickly. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll try the right side. Shows him the stiff arm. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. The Wildcats are on the move. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Neutral zone, neutral zone is right. Defense. Defense. Defense had them backed up, and then they're in the neutral zone, and the offense will say thank you very much. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And midfield, he's got room. He now has 56 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. The give to the back. Makes his man miss. When you're a defense, you get to stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Off the play fake on first down. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Wildcats! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. And this offense is firing in all cylinders right now. Starting the year, game one, creating a little bit of a pad and separation at the end of this first half. But you can see why so many people are really excited about this offense this season. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He's got great speed. What a great return, and he flips the field to start this drive off, and he just about scored himself. It is so good to have a dangerous return, man. Got the quick completion. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And now on second down for this offense. 
We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. On the move, it's Dampier trying to get to him. Oh, he needs to get rid of him. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. The Lobos line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They wanted to set the tone, strike quickly. Jesse, they've done exactly that, up two touchdowns. And this quarterback has been dialed in, too. He's been so good reading coverage, going to where the open guy is with the football. And they've been up and down the field, David, so far. And this defense needs to make something happen right now. I mean, you've already given up a couple touchdowns. Your offense has got nothing going. Still early in the game. Get a stop. Create some momentum for your offense. He's not going to win any gold medals in the 100 or anything like that, but he's fast enough to hurt you. Yeah, that's the whole key. He's got just enough to force the defense to stay honest. You have to account for this guy's ability to tuck the football and run. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Arizona going back to work with another first down. Right back to the well. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Give him 96 yards on the ground, and he wanted to make a first impression, and he's doing that in this opening game. Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. Motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. He wants a shot toward the end zone. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big-time play. Offense gets set for second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He breaks a tackle. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Arizona will try to pay off this red zone trip. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. He wants to throw it again. And it's caught! Touchdown, Arizona! It's hard for a defense to have to cover so much space. When the offense goes empty, you get receivers and tight ends and running backs lined up out wide. You've got to expand, and it's harder to cover on the back end. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They'll throw it on first down. The quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Line getting set on second down. Back to throw. It's Dampier. Gets it out quickly. Excellent job rallying to the ball, and they knock him down. And the Robos want to move quickly. They'll 
They'll try to pick up the first through the air using the quick game. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. Trying to find his man on first down. And they can't make the connection. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leads him with third and three. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Global send out the punt unit. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short turn. Who knows what they're going to do? Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did, running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming, you know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting the push. They know you're running it, and you still can't stop it. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here, first and 10 from the 33. He's looking to throw it. Quickly out to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Wildcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're trying to get to it. Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. They want to talk things over and make sure they have the right play called here so the offense will use a timeout. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. Now, there is a flag down on the play, but when you knock through a field goal from that distance and you're not going to get the first down, I think you just keep your points. Three yards, first down for the offense after that penalty. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. He's got it on the run. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after they play up top. They'll run the option. He'll pitch it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. It's good. Easy call for the ref. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 15, here's the return. It'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. 
that said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Movement here from the tight end. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Lobos get it past the sticks. It's first and 10 from the 31. Quick completion to the right. And more yards after contact. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic running. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. The offense needed something, just anything, to give them just a little breathing room, and the defense provided it with that penalty. That pass is incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Leaves it with the running back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Lobos will have it first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, i got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Inside the 25, they'll snap it from the 24. First down. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly complete. If they're going to keep covering him like that, they're just going to keep going to it. Yeah, and it's so hard because you want to stay back and, and take away the weapons outside for the wide receivers, but when this guy's going to be able to catch the football and he makes plays like this, now I'm going to have to maybe go play more man, bring a guy to him, and not let him get those open touches. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. They come to the line on third and goal, looking for their first points of the day. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Absolutely perfect. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Ohio State looked dominant in a victory that was never really in question. That offense had zero problem putting up points. Not unlike the days of Stroud and Fields and so many greats before they were. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Off play action. 
Got it behind the line. It's Miranda. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. On the run, it's Conley. Runs through a tackle. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Give him 105 yards rushing, and he has busted the century mark in this season opener. Tackled at the 45 after a five-yard pickup. Arizona has the offense coming set up with another first down. Hey, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations. Chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that puts you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, we got to stop the run. Quick release by the QB. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. <laughs> So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This offense has a second down play. Handoff from the gun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Wants to throw. It's Fafita. And he can't grab the bullet pass on third down. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. The offense lining up for a first down play. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Pope. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He wants to throw. Quick strike complete. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes. He's got some speed. And if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. Well start. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts that they will take the penalty. On second down, looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. And the Lobos have it with a first and 10. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. First down for the offense. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. The inside handoff. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. And here comes the offense on second down. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Now on second down. Scanning the field, it's Dampier. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. 
Really nice job by the offense. Hey, man, trust your guys, right? We got all these analytics on fourth down, send it, go for it. They trust the quarterback. He gets it done with completion. He gets the big first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. The Lobos will try to punch it in on first and goal. From the gun. And he's got it! Touchdown, Lobos! And the defense just has to do a better job in coverage in that situation. Down close to the goal line, you know it's going to be man coverage. You just have got to do a better job sticking on your guy. And the defender just simply got beat. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Arizona runs out the punt team. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? And that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Dropping back, it's Dampier. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Lobos will send out the punt unit. They try to go draw, but there's just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative play. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear now. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. They'll leave it with him. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead at 14.
we will get another look at this New Mexico offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And the timing just a hair off. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Dampier. Pocket starts to collapse. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. This was one of the keys to the game. Could this quarterback, could he extend plays and then make throws in scramble situations? That time, the defense was able to get to him and bring him down for a huge loss. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. Gets it out fast. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Arizona has it in the red zone. He just keeps piling up numbers with... He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Oklahoma rolled to a victory, and after putting up this kind of win, there has to be some Heisman buzz around a program that produced four winners of the award between 2003 and 2018. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standards, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Looking to throw, it's Dampier. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this off. Fires in the traffic, picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. Touchdown, Wildcats. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it out. It's Pope. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. Let's see what the Lobos offense has in store. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do have this. You've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Finds his man. It's Henry. 
They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Lobos come to the line with a new set of downs. Great job by the running back here on that third down catch. There was no wasted movement. As soon as he got the ball in his hands, he turned around and he got upfield. That's what you got to do. You got to be decisive on these third down type plays to move the sticks. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Dropping back, it's Dampier. He finds his man. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Going up top on first down. Got his man quickly. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. He's looking to throw it. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He has stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. Completes it in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And they fail to hook up on third down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Finds a tight end. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. Offense getting set for first down. Smart move to keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense a little too eager. And that's an encroachment penalty. Five yards for the offense. Keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. With the clock running, this should be the final play. The old coaching cliche go 1-0 every week, and for the first week, they get it done. That great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout the season, but 1-0, that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. They definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very, very positive right now moving forward. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.